Tshuva is number one, admitting that what you're doing is wrong. Number two is to stay away from it by building a fence, by learning about the topic, learning about the sin, learning about the mitzvah, learning what entices you to sin, learning what entices you to do a mitzvah and so on, building a fence around it, not spending any time with people that encourage you to sin, not going to places that encourage you to sin and so on. That's step number two. Step number three, the Rambam says, is remorse, where you simply cry to Hashem when you do this vidui. By admitting that it's wrong is good, but it's not enough. You have to also be sorry about it, meaning cry over it, be sorry about it. Say, Hashem, I'm sorry, but genuinely mean it. How come it's step three and not step number one? Because Rabbi Israel Misalan says that's because when you first start stop sinning, it's not because you think it's wrong. You stop sinning because you see that something else is more right. But you don't feel that watching movies is wrong at first, even when you stop watching movies. You don't feel that wasting seed is so wrong even after you stop wasting seed in the beginning. You don't feel like being immoral with women is so wrong. You actually find it fun. At first, you don't feel so bad about it. When do you feel bad about it? Once you have stopped, admitted the problem, stopped it, learned about it, built a fence, stayed away from it, stayed away from the filth, from the spiritual filth, for an extended period of time, long enough to be able to smell the stench that comes from it, then you will feel sorry for ever being part of it. This is why many times, real Baal Tshuva, only start crying about their sins months and sometimes years after they started doing tshuva. Why? Because in the beginning, when they started doing tshuva, they didn't realize it was so wrong to violate Shabbat. They didn't realize it was so wrong to have abortions, to uh, to uh, to steal, to do all types of... They didn't think it was so wrong. Without the lie, in reality, there's really nothing holding you back from murdering and stealing and doing everything wrong in society. There's really absolutely no real reason to not be a monster if not for the Torah. And you're going to say, oh, but the law. Yeah, but what if you can get away with it? What if you can get away with it, with murder and rape and so on, like many politicians and superstars and Hollywood stars do on a regular basis? They murder and rape and, and pedophilia and so on and for a long, long time until they know enough, enough somebody, enough where they expose them. But really, they go with crimes unanswered for many years, decades. Wicked people, disgusting, filthy people, like Michael Jackson, and the uh, Kevin uh, Casey, whatever his name is, all these filthy people in Hollywood that are pedophiles, that they do it for decades. Decades. They don't feel wrong about it for a second. They don't feel wrong about it for a second. Many times, even after they're exposed, they don't feel wrong about it. Why? They don't have Torah. Without the Torah, there's really no reason to not be a monster. If, if you can get away with it, there's no reason not to, not to do it. But if you have Torah, you realize this is wrong. This is not the will of Hashem. This is disgusting. This is terrible and so on. But you're only going to realize that after you have gotten yourself far enough from the filth to realize it's filth. That's why it's the third step, says Rabbi Yisraeli Salat. And then step number four, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will test you and verify whether you've really passed the test and then sign off on you, you are a real Baal Tshuva. Now, if you want to express your whole Tshuva to make it much bigger, much greater, much uh, stronger and so on, you throw in some Kiruv in there on a regular basis because that the more you help others, the more HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to help you. And many times you need to help others in order for your Tshuva to be complete to begin with anyway. But the point is, is that Tachnun Vidui, that is in essence admitting it and then uh, as far as you're admitting it in, in multiple stages of the Chuba.